This morning, we're following up on a school threat that was made last week in Hillsborough County. On Friday, deputies were at Newsom High School in Lithia. They were investigating a possible shooting threat. They did not find any guns, but it did, ca did cause a significant impact to students, and that's why we're reporting on it this morning. And now this morning, Hillsborough County deputies will be on scene at Newsom again out of an abundance of caution. ABC Action News reporter Keely McCormick is live outside the school. Keely, what more can you tell us? Hey guys, good morning. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office will have an increased presence here at Newsom High School today. Again, it is all out of an abundance of caution. They have added security measures in place for everyone who enters the building, which is expected to cause some delays. And this all comes as the district is seeing an uptick in threats. Local law enforcement and school safety officials are warning people about the consequences of making school threats. The Hillsborough County School District says it's had 181 false threats made since the day of the deadly school shooting outside of Atlanta on September 4th. Nine students have been arrested in Hillsborough County this school year. It's sad actually that it's it's a way for people to get attention, it's a way for them to get likes, get notoriety and things like that, but it's serious business. Now officials are warning that threats, even if they are intended as a joke, can result in felony charges. See, that's why we're here today. The message isn't getting through. They're not understanding when you put something online like this, what this what the consequences are and they're severe. One threat led to a lockdown at Newsom High School on Friday. Officials say fake threats add stress to people at school while wasting time and effort. If you're making a false threat, there's a lot of human capital and currency behind that, a lot of effort. And when we find out that it's bogus, it's very, very frustrating. Most threats are coming through the Fortify Florida app. It's a tool to report suspicious activity. The Hillsborough County School District says across the state, there's been five times as many threats on the app as this time last year. And again, the increased police presence here at Newsom High School today is out in an abundance of caution to protect both teachers and students.